morning everyone it's uh what is it it's friday the uh, 7th i believe of june and walking up the mountain going a different little different way i haven't been going up here and coming up through the highway and stuff so today i thought i'd walk up the highway and mountain to santiago so we're over in santo tomas and heading up the mountain to uh Santiago over to the National Highway 505. So just uh, one of my favorite little places here. That's why I'm part of the reason I'm living here. So it's quite uh, quite nice in spots. Some spots not so nice, but this is a particular nice road here with all the uh, forest on the left and right of it. So today I thought I'd uh, bring up, a new, it's not a new topic, it's a new old topic, uh, to give money or to lend money. And of course I'm in the Philippines, and it's not, uh, certainly not exclusive to the Philippines, it's an issue or, a, you know, thing that people have struggled with in America, every place in the world. So, should you give, should you lend? And to make a long story short i guess is um it's really up to you it depends on the person the situation and uh you know all these different factors now i'll tell you my personal uh thing here got some workers making some uh hey good morning were them like a fence post or railroad post yeah Friend, good hey, good morning. morning. Ma making a YouTube video. Hey, Say hi. You're hi. on YouTube. Hi, hey. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey, there's another one over there. Say hi. Yeah. All right. Thank you. But, um, so that, that's the question today, and so uh, what, you know, I wanted to see what uh, your guys' thoughts are on that. And I'm going to share you uh, my thoughts and stuff. First of all, I think you have to, uh, what's lending money and what's giving money? Lending to me is usually somebody comes to you and says, uh, I need some money, I'll pay you back tomorrow, next week, next year. Um, and then they proceed to tell you a lot of times... Oh, my cousin's going to give me some money or the government or my job's going to pay me and that's how I'm going to pay you money. And then giving money, somebody may say, I need to go to school, I need an operation, can you give me money? So they're different but very similar. Now what I've found in my 62 years of living is when you... Lend money, a big percentage of the time, 80 some percent, 90 some percent, you don't get it back or you don't get it all back. And everybody's got a different excuse why they can't pay you when they said they'd pay you or the amount they're going to pay you. So what I've come to conclusion over all these years is um, I'm breathing hard because it's a big hill here is... I just say anymore, if I'm going to lend somebody money, if I can't afford to give it to you, I'm not going to lend it to you. So I look at it as, uh, good morning, kids. Hey. Um, as you know, it's, I just look at it as a gift. So that's my kind of two cents or advice on lending money. Um, don't, don't do it if you can't afford to lose it. So if it's some big amount and it's you know big amount to you and you can't, you need to have that back. When you uh, said you needed it back, I would not uh, give it or not lend it. And also on the lending and giving side, what you think about like the lending part again, go back to that. Um, Here's what doesn't make sense or people come to you and say I basically I have no money. Can you lend me some money? And I'm gonna pay you back tomorrow next week next month next year Well, how is this person that has no money? 
going to pay you back. So think about that. So if I don't have any money, how am I going to pay you back? So that's the problem with lending, I think. And people don't look at it that way so much, I don't think. So if you're having a problem with money and having a hard time, uh, borrowing money and getting in debt just puts you further behind. So, and giving money is something similar. I look at it as, well, you're, again, giving money and you're trying to help people. And that's all well and good. But again, my 62 years of doing things like that, um, what I've actually found is when you're giving money, you're not really helping in many cases. You're just delaying, you know, the problem because next week, well, they need more food. Next week, the cars broke down. Next week, the uh, kids uh, need some school money. Uh, the house has problem. Uh, health pro you have a health problem. It just never stops. So, and here in the Philippines, uh, you know, a big part of the population, well, needs money. In fact, we all need money. I need money, but people have different levels of need. So that's stuff I think about. Um, so my solution to all these problems are uh, to help or something, I think, or a better solution. It's never a solution. There's no one answer. But... Uh, I prefer when somebody comes to me and say, you know, give me money or lend me money, I share my knowledge with them and tell them how they can earn money or do, you know, do something. And, uh, you know, try to teach them a skill or uh, give them some wisdom on how to manage money or how to earn money here, or there, wherever they're at. Share my ideas with them. And as far as giving, what I've developed is instead of just giving somebody that's sitting there saying, give me money, uh, I like to reward people that's doing a service. Good morning. Hey. And uh, so if somebody's helped me with my motorcycle or prepared a good meal or whatever it may be, gave me a ride somewhere and they say, oh, it's 50 peso. Well, give them 60, give them 100. Cause they did a you know good job, got you where you wanted to go and they're working, they're trying to make an effort. Uh, reward them if you can again. So that's my uh, two things I like to do. So over the years I, comes the big truck workers going down the road. <laughs> And uh, so, so I've went from, you know, trying to help everybody years ago. Um, you know, people don't pay you back. You get in disagreements over that and then you give money and you find out they don't want to work or they're not, you know. So anymore, it's just like I help people that I see that are making an effort and working. And those that don't, I don't. And uh, lending money, I simply pretty much don't do it. Um, now, if I think you're a worthwhile person, I won't lend you the money, but I'll just give you some. Again, if you're working hard and you're still struggling, I like you or know you, and I'm able to help, then I may do that. But here in the Philippines, it's quite a big problem because there's so many. You feel like you're... Uh, trying to empty the ocean with a uh, spoon because the need is so great. So who do you help and how do you solve these issues? Uh, that's kind of the question and what's your, I'd like to know. I'm at the top of the hill, so I'm done breathing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, what your two cents is on that and uh, share your opinions. But I think it's, to me, a big help would not to be give money, but to teach people something. Teach them how to think and uh, what to do and how to save and manage what they have and what they can get. Because I think that's lacking 
uh, big time here in the Philippines, and I think it's lacking in the world today, but very much so, that's the new property. Somebody's bought and built a home on top, so they got it all gated off, but, uh, so that's it. So should you uh, lend or give money? What's your uh, opinions on that? So that's uh, kind of my two cents on it. Um, so it's a big topic and that doesn't fix anything and or whatever, but uh, just start a little discussion and what you think out there. And I just wanted to share my opinion. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, take care, and we'll talk to you another day. Thank you.